guys, so I have a workout clothes haul that I'm going to do really quick before I go to my belly dance class. And, um, yeah, so let me start. <laughs> um, the first thing that I bought, let me help my lighting. The first thing that I bought are some sports bras. And the funny thing is, all sports bras here are like padded. And so I bought padded sports bras. And I bought three, they were each $5 look like this and yeah they have padding in them which I don't need padding but um, if I want to get like Nike ones they're like really expensive so I just bought five dollar ones with padding in it yeah so I got two black ones two black ones and a pink one it looks like that and the back looks like this. And then I bought workout clothes. And usually um, in the U.S. I wear clothes, workout clothes that are really cutesy. So I'll wear like those pedal pushers with the line on the side. And the color of the line would be the top that matches. But here in Korea, um, a lot of the style for workout clothes is kind of like grungy kind of like sweats kind of thing so um I got sweats and yeah because I kind of want to just throw in sweats and run outside not run because I don't really like to run <laughs> but to go outside and walk or whatever so um I bought sweats but first I'll do the shirt that I bought I bought two shirts they were both eight dollars and thirty cents and this is one of them. It's just a regular tank top. And the back has just like that. And I got a white one. It was the same price. Oh, actually, this one was six sixty, And it has this little animal there. And it looks like that. So it was six sixty, And, yeah. Looks like that. And the next things that I got are sweatpants. And the first one is gray. And these sweatpants, actually, I'm not a person that wears sweatpants because usually they look high water on me. And for one, I really don't like sweatpants. But I kind of like the workout sweatpants because the ones I got are like pedal pusher kind. And they're kind of um, cinched at the, le the bottom leg part. So they kind of, since I'm tall, it doesn't look like it's high water. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. So these say Buckeye on the back. And they have like a little pocket here. And I'll show you how short these are. They're very short. It's like pedal pushers. And they have a star on the front. And these were $21.50. So yeah, they're cinched here at the bottom, so I can just push them up, and it looks like I'm like wearing pedal pusher type sweats. So that's the first one that I bought, and then I bought a blue one. This one says 38, and then it says Dream Soccer here, and it's pretty much the same. I can just push these up at the bottom, and then, um, yeah. And the back actually looks like this. It says 1938 on it. And it has these like slouchy pockets. And these were 1980. And then the last sweats that I got are black. And these say Buckeye as well. They're the same as the gray ones. And they also have a pocket here, but you really can't tell. It looks like that. And they have a star on the front as well. And they also cinch at the bottom shin area. So yeah, I got sweats, and I'm really excited because the weather is sunny outside, but still windy and cold, which I love cold weather, so while I'm still getting vitamin D from the sun, I'm still getting the cool air, which I really love, so I really like it. Um, the next thing that I bought is a sweater, 
Um, it was $21.50. And I really like this sweater because, I don't know, I think it's cool. So it's a really big sweater, and it has this, like, design right here. Where it looks like it's, like, I already can't explain it, but you can see here. It has these two, like, folded flap things there and then um they have pockets oh, i can't really show this very well <laughs> okay so it has a pocket here and what i like about this sweater is that the neck part it's not like a hood it's like this weird neck thing so it's kind of like a turtleneck and it goes like you fold it down like this and it has the little strings here, like that. I don't know. I'll have to show it to you guys probably. But it was twenty one fifty, and I like this sweater. It's like really big. Can't wait to use it. I'm actually gonna use this tonight <laughs> after my belly dance class. So the last thing that I got, these clothes, the clothes, um, including the sports bras, came to a hundred and fifteen dollars, and then. I bought shoes. I bought Puma shoes and they came in this bag. Puma. And I really needed workout shoes. So this is the box. And the style is called Body Train Mesh Women. It's the white ultraviolet with silver. Yeah. So, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of, like, the style, but I like that they're, like, the body shape kind, so I really wanted to try these out. They were 90, no, they were $109, which made my whole shopping thing come to two, I think it was 225 altogether. Yeah, so these, um, they're the rocking kind, so when you walk, you actually have to, like, move your feet forward and back like that. So it's supposed to shape your body. So that's what they look like. And I wasn't a huge fan of the style, but I really just wanted to try these out and see how they work. Um, but yeah, so they're doable. So I'll be walking a lot more. And yeah. Like that. And, um, as service, which you get a lot here in Korea, I got a free pair of Puma socks. Yay! Puma socks. So, um, that's pretty much my, uh, workout clothes haul, and I think that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Also, there was a earthquake in Japan, so please pray for all the families who um have people in their families who passed away also pray for the rest of the world who might be hit with a tsunami so um yeah keep everyone in prayer i hope you guys are doing good and stay safe and i'll see you guys later bye